Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Popular bookstore may have to close its doors if its owners can't sell it by the end of the year. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is in the Live Center. And Jared, this is the latest San Diego bookstore to face this kind of dilemma. Yeah, Jim, we're talking about the mysterious Galaxy bookstore, and it's really a disturbing trend in the entire book community, especially for people who love to go to bookstores. But it's not all doom and gloom in the industry, and even Mysterious Galaxy is hoping that they can get a last-minute plot twist. And are you part of our loyalty program? For 27 okay. years, this one's really good too. I'm so excited. Mysterious Galaxy has been a home for sci fi and fantasy fans. We're a hub for people who love books, who love reading, who love writing. Uh, it's something really special. But 2019 may become their final chapter. Worst case scenario is Mysterious Galaxy will close the stores. The current owners put the store up for sale last fall. Now the current landlords have new tenants ready to take the space. Uh, so we have uh, 60 days to find a new place and 60 days to find a new owner. It's a story that's been told across San Diego the last few years. In 2018, popular comic store Villainous Layer closed. So did the Adams Avenue bookstore. And Carlsbad's quirky look books could be evicted this winter. It's devastating and heartbreaking, uh, especially for everybody who's found a home here. But while some close, others have a different tale to tell. Workers are still unpacking boxes at Diesel Bookstore at the Del Mar Highlands. They just opened with a plan to bring a more intimate vibe to the industry. People want an experience that's different, that's unique, and I think that's what Diesel brings. They're not alone. According to the American Booksellers Association, the number of independent bookstores has grown every year for the past decade, and sales are up. It offers hope at Mysterious Galaxy. Thank you so much for coming in today. That there's still time to write a sequel. And hopefully we'll be able to continue bringing books and bringing magic to people uh, for years to come. On a blog post, the owner of Mysterious Galaxy says they've had a few people show interest in buying, but the right deal just hasn't come along. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. All right, Jared, thank you.